Hello, my name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video I'll be showing you how to install and configure a program called GNS3, and that is the graphical front end for Dynamips. It's a router simulator that lets you run various Cisco iOS router images and other stuff inside of your computer. So first thing we need to do is we actually need to download the program. And you get that off of this website, it's www.gns3.net. Click on the obvious download button right there. And to make your life easy, if you're on Windows, download GNS3, the all-in-one package. After you download that, you open it up, download all the parts. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Then you're going to need to obtain somewhere the Cisco iOS images. These are, you can think of it as the operating system of the router. Well, actually, it is the operating system of the router. And you're going to need to get the router images. Notice here I've got them in different folders all nicely organized and it's probably something you should do also. It can simulate ASA, the PICs, and routers. Routers is what we're interested in. And then I've got them further organized into folders with all the different images. And In our case I'm going to try out the 2691 images and you can see here I've got all types of images and these are ending in .bin files. The MD5 is just a hash that uh, verifies the authenticity of the image. We've got different ones like uh, the one with IP voice, so if you're going for the CCNA voice or CCIE voice, you've got enterprise services, advanced enterprise services, that type of stuff. We'll be uh, looking at these a little bit later. So after you install Dynamips and GNS, you're going to come up with a window that looks something like this. And the basic use of this program is you just drag the routers over here, you double click them, that opens up a console window, and off you go. Well, it's not going to work now because uh, we actually don't have any images associated with these particular router types. It's, these are currently blank, even though it shows the pictures right there. So we're going to associate the iOS images that I showed you before to these particular icons. We also need to do some other stuff, so we'll go to GNS3, we'll go to edit. First we'll go to preferences, click on that. This is our general settings, language, nothing too big of a deal there. Terminal command, this is very important. This is what starts up the terminal that goes into your routers. And for me, I like using PuTTY, I don't like using Telnet. And PuTTY, you just download it for free, just do a Google search for PuTTY. I've actually put it in my C drive right there. This needs to be the path to the PuTTY program. And remember to include that nice uh, stuff afterwards, dash telnet and all that good stuff. That So what this command does is it opens up PuTTY and directs it to a particular router and port. So remember that. Project directory, this is where you're going to put your saved labs. And that can really be anything iOS PIX directory, and I just point that to my wonderful Cisco iOS images. Obviously your directory might be a little different. GUI settings, we probably don't need to play with anything in there. Dynamips, now GNS3 is actually a graphical front end for a text program called Dynamips. This is actually what runs the Cisco IOS images and virtualizes the environment. If you did the all-in-one install, this should be OK. should pre-populate that for you. Working directory, you can really make this whatever. I, I like my documents. And everything else should be OK. You might want to test, click test to make sure everything works. This basically just starts up Dynamips. If you get a successfully started, then you're off and running. All right, so that's enough with preferences. We'll uh, either click cancel or OK out of that. Go into edit, and then go into iOS images and hypervisors. I already have this done, so we'll just follow the, the prompts here. Image file, just click on that. Find your particular image file. Right now we're playing with a 2691, so pick whatever you want. Platform, there's going to be a drop down box. Since we picked the image for 2691, it's probably want to pick the 2691 platform for that. Model, once again, 2691. Idle PC, we'll get into that 
in another video. It basically tells the router how much processing power it's going to use so it doesn't completely kill your computer. Default RAM, we'll just leave that alone. And we click on Save. And close. So now with any luck, we'll drag the router into our wonderful window right here. We can right click it, configure it, start it, all that good stuff. And if I'm able to configure it, I should be good. And we'll get into this configuration part in a later video. Cancel out of that. All right, so that should be it for installing GNS3. Basically go to the website, download it, install it, double click, and next, next, next. And also installing and configuring the preferences. That was edit preferences. Main thing you're concerned about is where the telnet prompt is going to be. Download putty. Keep that stuff at the end right there. Make Got to make sure the Dynamips executable is in the correct path. Click test there. Then we went into Edit, iOS Images. Make sure you find the 2691 and associate it with the 2691 over there. And to verify, just drag a router over here. Right click, Configure. And you should be able to play around with that. All right, once again, my name is Humphrey Chung. And we'll be doing more videos later on. Thank you.